wanted to make a quick video of anybody who has a two-wheel drive F250 or F350 and wants to 4x4 swap it and also to do an 05 axle swap. Here are some of the things that I noticed uh, that were a little different either between the 4x4 and the two-wheel drive version or that you might just want to do if you're doing an 05 axle swap. So if you're not going to lift it, you can use the brakes, the brake uh, flex lines that are on the right side. You don't have to swap them, you just need a T. I used the factory back bar mount. Uh, you might want to mount it a little further back than I did. It's pretty tight clearances. Honestly, if you have the money, I would suggest buying a prefab one. It just saves you a bunch of headache. Um, I put an 05, well actually it's an 08 steering box in. Um, but it's the early 08. You need the line for that. It's the the one excluding uh, Hydro Boost unless you convert to Hydro Boost, which I didn't. You can see I have the inside mounting uh, transmission cross member. Yours mounts to the outside, you'll need the inner one. Your 4x4 swapping a two-wheel drive, you likely don't have those two lift blocks, so you'll have to go find some at a yard like I did, or order some, uh, otherwise the front will sit much higher. Um, and then once you do that, you'll also need to drop the carrier bearing. I used a piece of square tubing. Otherwise, you're gonna have bad drive line angles and you'll kill your, your U joints. I haven't swapped my springs out. You can just use your OBS springs. Uh, I will be swapping mine when I find a set, but I haven't yet, so for now, just have the OEM springs. Sway bar mounts, as you can see, are lower, so you'll have to get a drop bracket or make your own like I did. Uh, you could potentially reuse the two-wheel drive sway bar. It lines up but the holes aren't big enough and drilling out spring steel isn't really a good time. I made a custom bracket for my uh, steering stabilizer to use the OEM because I did not want to lift the truck. However, uh, a bolt-in aftermarket might be the easier option. I believe the measurement from here to here, this leading edge right about there, is 13 and a half. And that's what everybody's used, that's what I use, it seems to work okay. There's my other brake line. And then you just bump this right up against the stop, just like I have and everybody else has. I used the rear adapter flange, but you can change the yoke. You just have to be mindful of the crutch sleeve. And the only other thing I would like to mention is obviously you have to switch the, the uh, shock mount forward facing and uh, weld it on. Um, and if you don't have a welder, you can U-bolt it on, but I wouldn't trust just the U-bolt. I would put a tack weld or something in there as well.